In a small countryside village nestled amidst towering trees and winding streams lived a woman named Emily. One serene afternoon, as she strolled through the lush woods, her heart skipped a beat when she heard a faint meow. Guided by the sound, Emily followed the melody of the kitten's plea until she discovered a tiny, fragile creature huddled among the fallen leaves. Filled with compassion, Emily gently scooped up the kitten, its soft fur warming her hands. The moment she cradled the vulnerable creature, a bond formed, and she decided to bring it home. She named him Oliver, envisioning a life filled with playful antics and purring companionship. The early days were blissful. Oliver grew rapidly, transforming from a helpless furball into a graceful feline. Emily adored him, cherishing the way he would curl up beside her as she read, or playfully chase his tail in moments of sheer joy. However, as Oliver matured, something peculiar began to unravel. One morning, Emily walked out to the chicken coop and was met with a ghastly sight. Feathers lay scattered across the ground, and the chickens huddled together, trembling with fear. Oliver's once innocent eyes now held an unsettling glimmer. His predatory instincts overpowering his docile nature. Concern washed over Emily, but she held on to the hope that it was just a phase, a manifestation of his natural hunting instincts. But it didn't stop there. Oliver's behavior grew more erratic with each passing day. He became aggressive towards anyone who dared enter their property, baring his sharp teeth and hissing with an uncharacteristic ferocity. Yet his malevolent tendencies were reserved only for outsiders. Emily, his mistress, remained the sole recipient of his affection, finding solace in the comforting purr that echoed through their home. A year later, fate would push the boundaries of Emily's understanding. Illness struck Emily unexpectedly, confining her to the sterile walls of the hospital. Lying in her hospital bed, she longed for the familiar presence of Oliver, his soothing purr that eased her worries. Unbeknownst to her, danger was lurking just beyond her door. A gang of thieves had targeted Emily's seemingly vulnerable home, unaware of the feline guardian within. As they skulked through the shadows, their intentions sinister and their hearts devoid of empathy, they failed to recognize the true nature of the creature that lay in wait. With impeccable timing, Oliver slipped through the crack of an open window, his eyes gleaming with an almost primal intelligence. Without hesitation, he pounced upon the intruders, claws slashing and fangs sinking deep into flesh. The thieves screamed in agony as their ill-fated encounter unfolded, their cries reaching the ears of concerned neighbors. The neighbors, acting swiftly, dialed emergency services, summoning the police to Emily's home. As the wounded thieves were transported to the hospital, their path unknowingly intersected with Emily's own place of refuge. Emily's heart skipped a beat as she watched the injured men being wheeled into her ward. Fear gripped her, questioning who could inflict such violence upon these strangers. Unbeknownst to her, the truth lay within the extraordinary nature of her feline companion. Days later, Emily received an unexpected call from the local police. With a mix of confusion and trepidation, she arrived at the station where an officer awaited her. He sat her down and unraveled the astonishing truth. Emily, the officer began gently, your beloved pet, Oliver, is not a domestic cat as you believed. He's a wild manual, a species known for its elusive nature and fierce protectiveness. The attacks on the thieves were not mere acts of aggression. 